What's up guys, Adam here with How to Home. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to find a hot wire or a wire that is bringing in the electricity to whatever it is you're working on, whether that's a junction box or a switch box, whatever it may be that you're working on. And you need to figure out which one of those wires that's coming in there is the hot wire. So I actually got the idea to do this video from some comments that I've received on some of my previous videos, people asking how to do this or just verifying that the way that they're thinking to do it is actually correct. So I'm going to show you a couple different tools that I use in order to figure out which one of these wires is the hot wire. I'm going to start off by showing you this non-contact voltage tester. Now I'm just going to get out front that these are phenomenal tools. I use this all of the time. It is fantastic for quickly locating where the power is coming through on whether it's a cord or your non-metallic uh, wiring or your Romex, but they should not be fully relied on. There are certain circumstances where maybe this is not going to be the best thing to use, and I'll get into that in a moment, but I'll just quickly show you how this is used. What you're going to do is you'll just take this probe here and you will place it near or just laying on top of whatever wires that you're wanting to test. Once this locates electricity or senses electricity, this specific model and most models are going to then show you with a light, a red light is going to come on and you're also going to get an audible alarm that is letting you know that there is power flowing through whatever it is you are touching that to or holding it over. So with this specific model though, the closer you get to the power, the faster that audible alarm chirps at you as well. So you can also use these in electrical outlets as well by taking that probe and not all models, but this model and a lot of models, you can just put a shit into where you would put the prongs that you're normally plugging in and it's gonna tell you which side is your hot side. Now, some circumstances where maybe you don't wanna use this. Maybe it's a crowded box and what could end up happening is you could be trying to locate your hot wire and this thing chirps at you. It gives you all the signals. It turns red. It's saying, hey, there's electricity running through here. But since it's in a crowded box and it doesn't necessarily need to make contact, it's sensing electricity, it may lead you to the wrong wire. And so that could really screw up your wiring. And a worse circumstance would be if for whatever reason the power was not turned off, that you're going to be in for quite a shock if you touch that wire. So Again, these should not be just fully relied on. I will say that this specific one that I have, it's been right every single time once I've verified it. It just is one of those things that while it will probably be right, it's not really worth just fully relying on it, but fantastic tool. So now let's get into using what should be used every single time that you're trying to find a voltage or amperage, and that is a multimeter. So for this first example, I'm going to use a light switch because a lot of times people are replacing light switches with switches that are going to require knowing which one is the line and the load wire or the hot where the hot wire is. So on this particular switch, it's just a standard single pull switch. You've got two brass screws over here on the right. Depending on how the switch is, whether it's on or off, uh, in the off position, which is where we want it, only one of these is going to be hot. Obviously in the on position, they would both be hot and it would do us no good. So when doing a switch test, you need to have it in the off position. And then of course we also have our ground screw over here. So in order to figure out which one of these is the line and the load or figure out which one is the hot wire, I'm going to take this multimeter. This is probably the first multimeter I ever bought. It's super cheap. I don't use it very often anymore, but it does work. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch it over here to the right where you see this V that's for volts and there's this little squiggly line there that's alternating current. So we've got it set and now all we need to do is I take my black probe and I put it on the ground terminal over here and then I'll take my red probe and I will test then on these hot screws to figure out which one of them is actually bringing the electricity in. So first on this bottom one, I'm getting no voltage. So it would lead me to believe that this top one is hot. And there you go. It's right up around 120. And so that is how you would figure out where your hot wire is on a standard single pole light switch. 
So this is probably going to be a more common scenario where you've just got some bare wires that are in or coming out of a box. And so in this case, I've got my bare copper wire down here, and then I've got two black wires that are coming out. Now, of course, I've also got a neutral wire, a white neutral wire that's tucked in the back. But, you know, you if you have a neutral wire that's coming out, typically it's going to be white. Now, white can be hot in some cases, depending on your house. So you can just test every wire that you have coming out of the box is my point. In this case, I've got two black wires and my ground wires. And so with this multimeter, in order to find the voltage, we need to turn the dial down to where this V is with this squiggly mark, which is voltage, again, for alternating current. So once you've got your multimeter set to voltage on alternating current, you would then take that black probe and again touch it to that bare copper wire, which of course is the ground wire. Now if you don't have a ground wire, maybe you live in an older home, then you're going to have to find a different way of finding ground. And so a lot of times in the older homes, you may have a metal box that is actually what is holding all of your wiring for your outlets and your switches and everything else. And a lot of times they use the BX wiring. So that could be a source for ground. But you could also use a neutral wire. If you know that the wire is in fact neutral, then you could also use that as a means for finding ground. So now that we found ground, now we need to test these two wires to figure out which one of them is actually hot. So put your black probe on ground and then connect your red probe to one of the hot wires. And as you can see, it is not showing 120. In fact, it's not even showing one volt. So we know that this top wire is not our hot wire. So we can assume that it's probably this lower wire here. So go ahead and touch your black probe to ground and put your red onto the hot. And so there you can see 120 volts. So we know that this lower wire is in fact our hot wire. And of course you can use the same method no matter what box you're working on. Maybe you're working on a ceiling fan box or a light box, whatever it is, it's gonna be the same way to test. So guys, I hope that this was helpful for you in figuring out which one of those wires coming in is your hot wire and also how to use one of those devices in order to find it. If it was helpful, please give the video a like and also let me know down in the comment section down below. And of course, if you have any questions, you can also leave those down in the comments as well. And if you like how to's and do it yourself type videos for around your house, then please consider hitting that red subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next video.